Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 3rd of 2021 well, it is titled the Horsehead and Flame Nebulas. So what do we see here? Well, looking toward the constellation of Orion, famous for a lot of its nebulae and star forming regions, we see two of those very prominent ones. On the very right hand side, we see the Horsehead Neb Nebula with its distinctive shape of perhaps the knight from a piece of chess, giving it its, uh, from its, giving it its distinctive name. Now, it's of course, the pattern there is just random. It's just a random pattern the dust happens to be formed. And of course, our minds like to put some kind of order to randomness. So we kind of see that as a pattern. And then of course, once someone says it, then other people will start to see it as that as well. This is what we would call a dark nebula. It is dark because it contains excess dust material that is blocking out the light from behind it. So it is not that we are missing material in the Horsehead Nebula, but we see excess material and in fact too much material that visible light can no longer penetrate and we cannot see through this. Likely within this nebula, we are forming stars right now. So there are material condensing to continue part of the star formation within the Orion region. We also see another nebula on the lower left hand side, which is the flame nebula. And you can see the distinct maybe flame shapes coming up and off to the side there. And that is uh, also has some dust associated with it, but also has some uh, color associated with it as well. And we see the reddish orange color due to hydrogen gas. When hydrogen gas is excited, its electrons will jump up or be ionized removed from the atom. And when they recombine, they will then give off a distinctive red orange color that we see scattered throughout this region of the sky. We also see another type of nebula, the blue color uh, down towards the lower right hand side, which is a reflection nebula that is also caused by dust, much like the Horsehead Nebula itself. However, the, uh, d the this means the dust is not as dense, so it's not blocking out the light, but is actually scattering light from a star near the center region of this nebula. So we can see that light and the light that is better scattered is the blue light. So we get the blue light better scattered. And that makes everything look blue when we look at this nebula, similar to the reason that we see a blue sky where all the blue light is scattered by molecules within the atmosphere. Well, here the dust particles are better able to scatter that blue light than the red giving the, the reflection nebula the blue color. So we see the bluish color of the reflection nebula, the red orange of the emission nebulae, and the dark color of the dark nebulae like the Horsehead Nebula. So that was our picture of the day for November 3rd of 2021. It was titled the Horsehead and Flame Nebulas. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.